Hey everyone, so Midjourney just dropped a new feature called Style Transfer, and it is pretty remarkable. So today we're gonna take a look at what it is, how to use it, and what some best practices are, plus what to keep an eye out for, and you know, maybe what it's not so great at. Okay, lots to cover, let's dive in. So Style Tuner is a way of personalizing your Midjourney prompt outputs. It's not to be confused with like Laura's or a set of training images. Rather, this is more about how Midjourney visually interprets your prompt and allows you the ability to lock in a style that you can use for future prompts. Getting started with Style Tuner is fairly simple. You just issue the command forward slash tune and then write a prompt. So starting simply and then building in complexity, we'll start with a tune of comic book art. You'll get a dialog box that looks like this with two options. You can either do 16 style directions or 128 style directions. Now, the thing is, you got to kind of watch out for this because these do burn fast GPU hours. So, you know, if you are maxing out at 128 all the time, yeah, you're going to burn through your monthly quota in no time. I have found the default of 32 to be pretty decent, so I would recommend just leaving it there. Uh, the other choice that you have is to leave it on default mode or raw mode. Uh, I'm just going to leave it on default for right now. We'll take a look at raw in just a little bit. From there, you just hit submit and you do have to wait a little bit at this point because essentially you are now generating up 32 different mid journey images. Once it's done, you'll receive a notification with a link to a website. Uh, simply click on that and you're off to tuning. From here, you'll have the option of essentially voting between 32 different options. Although you might not actually wanna do that. I'll explain that in just a second. The other option that you have is to pick your favorite from a big grid. So this is all of our looks, but it is only the first generation of the grid of each of the looks. I personally kind of feel that going with the four grid version is the way to go as long as you can manage to zoom in a little bit, only because I have seen a few generations that I thought that I liked until I kind of zoomed in. I was like, oh no, that's actually completely horrible, isn't it? Oh, that is actually pretty horrible. It looks like fan art from a James Cameron movie that never existed. It also looks like if this story were to continue, it would get wildly inappropriate. Anyhow, once you find a choice that you actually like, uh, like I actually like this one, hit the copy button and then head back over to Discord and then generate that prompt. I will say the whole round trip between Discord to the Tuner website back to Discord definitely illustrates how vital the new Midjourney website really is going to be. But I also think that it really showcases how many new features are probably going to be in the new website, making me that much more excited for its launch. So just running that prompt as is gets us this, which is pretty cool. It's definitely consistent with the style that we chose. There's some jank in this image, but I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it because we didn't actually specifically prompt for anything. Now there is something kind of interesting about mid-journey base models that I think I kind of stumbled into while playing around with this. But first, let's take a look at prompting with a tuned style. Taking our comic book art prompt with the style number and then adding in comma a space explorer on an alien planet yields this which is obviously within the style framework that we had chosen and you know looks pretty cool now what's interesting is if you remove comic book art and just prompt with the style number you get these images which look somewhat aesthetically similar to the style that we had previously chosen, but do not have that comic book look. I believe that this is actually the base model that sits underneath the stylized pass. It's always interesting to me when the curtain opens just a little bit and you can get a peek at the mid journey engine. Anyhow, returning comic book art to the front of our prompt and adding in a boy riding his bike in a neighborhood gives us these results, which we are stylistically back to our initial comic book look. Now, what happens when you start adding in different stylizations from the tuner? Well, to be honest, things can get really cool or really weird. Uh, I kind of like this sort of minimalist design, so we're gonna choose this, and we'll go with kind of a traditional American comic book look with this, and we are then provided with a new style number. Let's try that out. We got these images, which I thought were pretty cool. Now, the problem is, is that these four looks are not consistent. So as a style number, that's not great, but there is a way that we can combine styles, and we're gonna take a look at that in one second. Some other experiments with mixing multiple styles got us results like this, which is just kind of, or a style like this, which I can't get too mad at because it is consistent, but every once in a while you'll land on something like this, which kind of has that retro future look, which I think looks really cool. Now, where I think that style tuning comes in really handy is when you're trying to create a visual narrative. For example, using the prompt cinematic still, wide angle, a detective holding a notepad, 
crime scene, city street, and an aspect ratio of 2-1 with the style of raw gets us this set of images. What's interesting about tuning is that I think it showcases the visual vocabulary of Mid Journey when it comes to something like a crime drama. Now we do have some pretty hilarious ones like this guy where the crime is happening in his mind. So my tastes always run to that David Fincher, Darius Kanji kind of seven vibe. So I'm gonna take this image and run that. And now we have some shots that are, you know, more or less stylistically consistent. So let's try moving our camera around with that same style number. Swapping out wide angle to close up gives us this. It actually did a close up of the notebook, uh, not the detective like I thought it was going to, but regardless, it all still consistently works with our initial image. Moving out to a wide angle behind the police tape gives us these images, which all kind of work minus number four, where it kind of goes to a night scene. But for the most part, I think that if you were to stitch these images together, you would more or less have a compelling atmosphere. Now, something that does not work is when you start modifying your prompt too far away from your initial prompt. Uh, for example, when I changed out the prompt with the same style number to cinematic still, long shot, woman with a red dress, sunglasses, laughing, crime scene, city street and we ended up with these four images and while i think these are fine images that work in kind of a lifestyle or travel context they definitely do not work in our david fincher seven context i mean she's not even holding a box now one thing i think it's important to note is that when you're tuning a style you are not actually going to be able to tune to the exact style that you are tuning from for example, this is a prompt that I've been messing around with a lot. This is animated 3D film, close up in the style of Craola, Tim Burton, Alice in Wonderland, meticulously detailed, Neo Dadaist at an aspect ratio of 16.9. Now, taking that prompt and bringing it through prompt tuning, does not produce the exact results that I initially ran. Uh, instead, there's sort of a myriad of, well, in this case, some fairly disturbing ones. But through tuning, you can end up creating some pretty interesting and unique looks. For example, this one rolled up, and we also had this one, which kind of definitely has more of a Disney look. So you can combine style codes as well. And actually, I find this to be a little more coherent than trying to pick two styles from the style tuner to create a unique style. Uh, so let's try it out here with this image. This is C-Punk, year 3000, cyberpunk, pirate, ship, neon, Caribbean ocean, wide angle, pirate captain on his ship at an aspect ratio of 16.9. And I'm gonna combine that with essentially the exact same prompt, just with a different style. Now, in order to do so, we'll take this style number here um, after the raw and We'll just add it to this prompt here. So coming to the end of this, we'll just hit a dash and then the number. And the important part is don't add the raw dash from that previous image. So running this gets us these images, which are pretty cool. Kind of like Niji-esque, I guess, but yeah, neat. And in case you were wondering, I did swap the order on those stylized numbers and got this, which is pretty similar. So I don't think that that has any weight. So I don't know if tuning is gonna really take off, but I do appreciate the fact that we are able to share stylized codes with one another. I do not look forward to a bunch of people trying to sell packs of stylized codes, because you know that's gonna happen. Anyhow, please let me know what you guys think of this new feature, and if you have any questions about it, I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.